What's up guys, we're gonna assemble this Husky workbench. It's adjustable, has two drawers. Let's dive in. So today guys, we're assembling a 62 inch work table with adjustable height and two drawers from Husky. I got this from Home Depot. Just laid out the parts here so you guys could see what everything that came in the box. I would imagine the instructions are very similar to the other versions of this that are out there. There's one that doesn't have any drawers. There's a longer version and a shorter version. So hopefully you could use this video as some sort of a reference to help put yours together. One nice thing about this whole setup is that most of the screws are the same, so you don't really have to worry about screwing anything up when it comes to that. There is a set of four bolts that are included in here, but that's very easy to tell where they go in the instructions. So a lot of times when you assemble this stuff, it can get kind of tricky of what screws or bolts go where. Well, with this, they're all the same other than four of them. So hopefully that helps you guys so the first steps to assembling this workbench is to attach the one side that has the crank on it. We're going to be adhering that to the wood top with four screws. You're gonna have the crank handle coming out the same side as the Husky badge if you're gonna go according to the instructions. They're all the same length screws, so you don't really have to worry about screwing that up. So once I'm done fully assembling this, then I'll go back and actually hand tighten these with an actual screwdriver. I'm just using my drill here, so that way it speeds up the process. Next, this rod just goes in here. There's no tools required for it. You just put it on the matching hole and push in. Next part is to put the other leg on. And I'm guessing they wanted us to put this on because in order to fit properly, you gotta stick this at other end of the rod onto here before you can screw these four bolts in. Line up the holes and then take four more screws. Repeat this process you just did. Well, here's a little fun fact they didn't tell you about in the instructions. Um, when you try to put this metal piece over the rod, um, is too tight in between here because the legs are compressed. So you gotta move these up a little bit in order for it to go on there. Just take the handle you'll use to adjust this and raise it up a little bit. So that way it fits on better. Easy peasy like that. Next part of the assembly is adding the brace in between the legs. Um, you can do it in two different spots. You can do it right here in the center, or you can actually do it on one of the ends, which is what I'm going to do. You gotta remember this is facing down. So when you do assemble it, you wanna make sure the open end is facing down, or in this case upwards, rather than this way, because this is gonna be the top part. I'm going to hand tighten them in there for now, just so we can get a start on it. Now I'm just gonna go back with the wrench. So the next part is installing the feet on this. Um, if you want to keep the leveling feet in here, um, it's a good option if you just wanna keep it stationary. I wanna be able to move this thing around my office here. Um, so I'm going to install the casters that came with it. And you just unscrew them. I had one that was stuck kind of. Uh, you just take a wrench underneath it and unscrew it. Um, that's how I got the one that was stuck. Maybe that is just this specific one, but in case you guys run into that issue, just something to keep in mind. The casters, it's pretty easy. You just screw in. Repeat for all four of these. Next, we have to put on the drawer. Uh, these are the brackets that hold the drawer on. Uh, you're gonna want to make sure that these rollers are facing inward. So when you put it on, it's pretty self-explanatory, but line up the holes accordingly.
one side done and then on to the other. Next, we're gonna put on the back panel for these drawers. Next, we're gonna put on this trim piece right here. Uh, this is just like a decorative piece that goes on so the drawers look like they're fully shut. So it's just two bolts. Next, you can turn it upright and uh, grab somebody to help you out with it because this is a heavy table, so I don't want you to hurt yourself. But uh, yeah, get it upright, and then now we just install the drawers and we're good to go. This is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. You gotta be smarter than the drawer, apparently. Well, that about wraps up this assembly, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue trying to put the drawers in, but that was my own fault. You have to have the ball bearings pushed back. Um, all the way while the slides are out and then put the drawers in. Uh, I had the bearings pulled out and was trying to make it go in at the same time. So it just was creating an issue, but I figured it out. Um, and that's what you do. You got to work through these things. So I think this is going to be a great tool to have here at my studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, assembly of it. Um, I'm sorry if it wasn't like the perfect assembly, but it did the best job I could here with the limited time I had. So uh, on that note, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.